Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here with two hands on the wheel and four eyes on the road. Hopefully this video will be coming out okay. I'm using my iPhone 4 for the first time in the car. And I actually have an iPhone 4 skin. <clears throat> I mean Apple bumper on it. Much like the rest of the iPhone 4 community, I have been experiencing the loss of signal when bridging the gap between the two antenna, antennae, uh, on the perimeter of the iPhone 4. So in picking up the Apple bumper here in the Apple store, Bellevue Square, which is in the Seattle area, a mall, where the line was at least 600 people long, and I'm not exaggerating, um, this seems to have alleviated the issue at least from my initial tests. And even so, I've heard that Apple is aware of it, and no doubt they would be, given the amount of people talking about it right now. And uh, they had said to Walt Mossberg they were aware of the issue. This is when he published his review and noted that problem. And they said it would be addressed in a forthcoming software fix. Which, you know, makes me wonder if it's a software bug or if it's indicative of a bigger problem. And the reason why I say that is because I remember earlier generation iPhones, like specifically the 3G, the first 3G iPhone, uh, they said, oh, we're going to fix the drop calls with new firmware. And despite issuing several revisions over time, of course, we all know that AT&T has continued to drop calls. So far, I have not dropped a single call on the iPhone 4, but then again, I really haven't made that many calls yet. I'm working on it. Everything else, I gotta tell you, has been uh, relatively seamless. I live streamed from the Quick app today, and some people tuned in as they uh, watched me drive around town looking for a really good iPhone case or a 4 skin, an iPhone 4 skin. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the Apple bumper. That being said, I'm going to be on the lookout for other iPhone 4 accessories. And that's kind of what I'm asking you uh, to uh, possibly you know, make a, a point uh, or two in terms of what your favorite iPhone accessory, specifically iPhone 4 accessory is, and why. And I, I'm looking for a matte screen protector, as well as a rear screen protector if I'm going to use the Apple bumper, so front and back protection. Prefer matte on the front because the, the fingerprints and dust is driving me nuts, and the dust is collecting even around the perimeter of uh, the bumper, which I guess is bound to happen. And then I'm also looking for an external battery pack for the iPhone 4. It's inevitable. I mean, I'm going to run out of juice. And in trying uh, earlier accessories, they didn't seem to work, or at least not very well. So I don't know what would have changed. Uh, possibly looking for a all-in-one type of system, so something that would protect the sides uh, as well as uh, act as a battery pack, a juice pack, something like that. Um, and again, for the iPhone 4, I'm not really interested in other iPhones at this point since I don't have the other iPhones at this point. So anyway, uh, there's a brief update of, you know, my experience in one day with the iPhone 4. And just so that you know, I had essentially positioned the iPhone right now in uh, the dashboard in my Prius. Fits perfectly, uh, and I'm glad I, I have the bumper to help. I can't really tell if I'm filming at this point since I didn't turn on the LED, which you can do in the, the video recording capabilities of uh, the iPhone 4. So, uh, with any luck, it'll turn out just like the uh, first video I recorded on the iPhone 3GS, which is now infamous for me chomping on my gum. 
So, uh, there you go. What are your thoughts on the iPhone 4? What accessories do you have? What accessories are you getting? What are you looking forward to most in the iPhone 4? And if you don't have an iPhone 4 and you're on AT&T's network, I'd ask why not? But yes, it's not the most affordable phone on the planet, but in terms of what you get, it's more than just a phone. It's a communications device. I don't know if I'm going to find something better, but then again, if uh, better hardware and software comes along, I would consider it. Of course, that's a, it's a tall order these days, but then again, I have a feeling, and this is a prediction, within a year, uh, Google Android will finally become a formidable competitor uh, to Apple, and uh, Google's making uh, massive strides in development and releasing their platform. So we shall see a year from now what the next iPhone will bring. Competition is a good thing. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're more than welcome to leave a video response, possibly with you testing your iPhone video capabilities on your own YouTube account. You can leave a comment, too. Uh, you can find me on my blog, chris.perillo.com. We've also got geeks.perillo.com, a greater community full of great geeks like yourself, possibly, where you can embed your own YouTube videos. And then we also have the lockernome.net questions and answers service. You can find me on Twitter, at Chris Perillo, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo, or YouTube.com slash Chris Perillo. And I've also got a live video feed, which you can pull up on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch at pocket.perillo.com. And uh, then we've also got the you know feed that's got the way where you can interact with it. Right now it uses Flash, so you wouldn't be able to use the iPhone and interact with the video that way, but if you're on the desktop and you want to have that full experience, or maybe you are on another mobile device that has Flash, well then you're more than welcome to stop by the live video feed at, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pulling out my, it's a mobile hotspot, <laughs> I'm connected right now, <laughs> can't do that with an iPhone, either way. More than welcome to join us in the gaggle of geeks, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.